Well, good morning. Um, welcome to my channel. My name is Shelby and the purpose of this channel is basically just to give a glimpse of what life is like when you have seizures, which is what I have. I have the grand mal seizures and I have had them since I was about 14. Um, and I am 29 now, so I've had them for a long time. Um, this morning, I don't have them super frequently, but in the past six months, the frequency has gone up for sure. Um, where it's like one every, every month, maybe every two weeks, kind of depends. And I had one this morning, so not exactly the most ideal morning um having a seizure it hurts um you're not in control of your body at all so if you fall and hit something hard then you do you can't prevent it you can't stop it you can't you know provide yourself any sort of padding or <laughs> anything like if you're gonna fall and smash your head on on your headboard that's gonna happen so, luckily my husband was right there and he was able to help make it um, better so that nothing really, you know, too terrible happened. Um, I already had a hurt ankle from the gym, so I think I kind of banged that up a little bit. My husband said he didn't, he didn't notice me hitting it on anything, but <laughs> that's how my morning has gone so far. Um, afterwards, after a seizure, um, I mentioned this in another video, but my, my nerves, my hands, um, just feel weird. It's like they're hypersensitive and if I wash my hands in cold water, it's like really cold and it almost stings. It's, it's weird. And if it's warm water, it's... I don't know it's really hard to describe but nothing feels normal and that typically lasts all day um, usually after I have a seizure depending on how bad it is I typically have a pretty decent headache to the point where you could probably call it a migraine um, this one wasn't so bad I had a little bit of a headache but not so bad I I took two to leave and it seems to be pretty much diminishing so um, I'm pretty I'm getting pretty sick of having seizures it's never been this frequent um, since high school and I was not on good medication in high school I was eating Horrible. I mean, my diet basically consisted of Fruit Loops, so of course, when you eat like that, it's gonna affect your body. Uh, I just had no idea about nutrition in high school. So, I've made improvements over the past, you know, several years. Since my seizures are, are really just amping up, I think I need to make um, you know, find a way to continue improving, which I know what I need to do, and I will discuss it after this. When you have seizures, your brain really likes a high fat diet, um, which I already eat a pretty, pretty decently high fat diet, but I do include things like, um, like 90 to 95% chocolate. Sometimes I eat uh, Lily's brand chocolate chips, or I think I have peanut butter 
or pumpkin chocolate chips. Oh, they're right here. I could just show you. I like these. Those are really good. I also like the Sam's Choice chocolate. To me, that tastes really sweet, so I enjoy eating it. I also enjoy eating, as you saw earlier, um, the bread from Aldi's. I like eating that. I do eat low-carb tortillas. I'll probably keep those in my diet forever, um, just because it, it's an easy way to make a meal. But I really need to start implementing more meats, more higher fat um, foods, and just eating cleaner eggs, meat, cheese, just the basics because it sucks having seizures this often. And I know I'm not the only one out there who has to deal with this and it's just not fun it really affects your whole day because I know for me um, like just a couple seconds ago when I said my age for a second I couldn't remember my age you know so it's it really affects for me it really affects my brain throughout the day and and how I remember things so, for example, today I had it scheduled to make soap. Uh, that's that's the business that I own. I, I make soap and bath bombs, um, things like that. And I don't feel comfortable with my mind where it's at right now to mess with um, lye, which is the main ingredient for creating your soap. So... It's just, it's just hard. Um, and I, and I, like I've said before, I know for a fact that there are harder medical issues to deal with, but, um, one thing, and this is pretty, this is how it works pretty much for all medical issues. Um, <laughs> It's even hard to talk about it. I have a very good husband. And I just wish this wasn't a part of his life. He's never said like, like he's never, you know, put me down for having seizures or made me feel guilty. It's just my own, my own head wishing that he had um, better and easier because, you know, Obviously, it would just be a lot easier if he didn't have to deal with, you know, we were planning on, on going to the gym this morning and, you know, he was putting on his socks for the gym and then suddenly I start having a seizure and all of our plans are gone. So, I don't like, I wish he didn't have to deal with it. Um, he's just a good person and... You know, even though it might be kind of personal, as I've said before, I, I really want this channel to be open and honest. So that if you have seizures and this is how you feel, you know that you're not alone in feeling like your loved ones deserve better. Which is a really hard way to feel because there's not much you can do about it. It's just... It's what the good Lord has put in your in your life and you know hopefully moving to almost full carnivore will help but 
it's just hard. It's very hard. And if you have seizures, just know that you're not alone in how you're feeling. You're not alone in feeling like, you know, you're a little bit of a burden to the people around you, even if they've never once, you know, encouraged that feeling, even if they're never like telling you this is a burden in my life. It's just how, how it feels because you just need more than the average person and it makes you a little bit harder to work with or harder to live with. So that's my, uh, I guess my morning deep talk on what it's like to have seizures. I truly hope that um, this kind of thing helps anyone out there that has seizures and just feels kind of exhausted after years and years and years of dealing with this and just trying to keep your head up really and you know sometimes it's just sometimes you just don't want this to be what your life entails and and that doesn't matter because you can't stop it so yeah. morning confessional um my seizure this morning like i said wasn't too bad it didn't last very long i didn't hit my head i didn't do anything like that so that was nice um and my past seizures have either been on treadmills, which is just awful, or on, you know, the hardwood floor, or things like that, so. This one was on carpet, thank goodness, and there was no uh, treadmill belt to rip your skin off, which is always nice. So, in all, it really wasn't that bad, it's just the fact that it, it messed up plans and Just not always the most fun thing to deal with. I think, in general, there is a lot of guilt because when I have a seizure, there's nothing I can do about it and I'm fully reliant on my husband to take care of me. And I get that that's how a lot of marriages work. It's just not, it's just not what I like, so. And I feel like I need to reiterate that he's never encouraged any of these feelings. This is just my own personal um, guilt, self-conscious, whatever you'd like to call it. So anyways, today, um, after seizures, my appetite is kind of it's pretty minimal, so I had some, I fried some Spam in um, some leftover bacon grease, and I ate that. I'm really not that hungry, that's probably all I'll eat for a little while. Um, afterwards, I am planning on scrambling up some eggs, adding some cheese, and really getting into a more... Um, strict carnivore diet to see what that helps me with because I am sick of having seizures I am sick of worrying about it I'm I just want to go back to life when I had three seizures in three years you know not three seizures in one month so that is what I will be doing I will check back when I am making just all the eggs. <laughs> See you in a bit. Alrighty, so it is now 3.13. Um, 
for the most part, I've just been working on stuff with business, trying to get website stuff figured out. Sometimes that stuff is so complicated, it just makes my brain want to explode. Um, one thing that I usually experience after a seizure for the whole day is my appetite is just not, it's just not there. Um, so far today I have had a little bit of that chocolate that I showed you and then like I said I had the um, probably like half a container of spam and I've also had um, a little bit of green tea which is not usually my favorite thing to do but it was really good mixed with a little bit of almond milk. Mostly I drank that because Another thing that happens after seizures is I get really, really, really cold. <laughs> so I didn't want to drink a ton of caffeine because that can um, just kind of make the recovery process after a seizure a little, um, kind of kind of increases the, the nausea feeling. So I wanted to drink something warm without drinking lots of caffeine. So had a little bit of green tea. I'll probably go get some more. These days are always pretty long. I try not to get discouraged. I try not to get upset. I try not to be sad or anything like that because this is just a challenge that I have in my life that I have to deal with and I have to overcome. And, you know, being sad all day does not get me anywhere but it still is like I said it still is discouraging when you're trying to run your business and you feel like a complete outsider because you don't know what you're doing today so stuff like that it's just there are worse things in the world of course but it's not very fun to deal with so if you deal with things like this, please comment down below because the point of this channel is to start a community where people like me, people like you, people who have seizures, people who have really any sort of significant mental illness or significant mental challenge can talk to each other and be like, yeah, this is, this is what I experienced. This is what helps me. Um, you know, we all have our own experiences in this world of seizures. And the more we talk to each other, the more we can get better information on how to go about making our lives with seizures a little bit easier. So, like I said... Comment down below. This is a community that I really want to be strong. And the only way to do that is to talk to each other. Um, I think, although I said that I, I need to start eating more meat, I do have two pieces of that keto zero-carb bread from Aldi's that I think I might eat. Um, it's like, I feel hungry, but I also feel nauseous. And whenever that happens... A little bit of cinnamon toast is typically the only thing I can stomach so I might eat some of that I probably won't eat that for a little while just cuz um, I don't want to be sick so <laughs> I'll probably push that off for a little while that might be what I have for supper I will be doing yoga tonight and I will take the dogs on a walk later on today but other than that, that's probably it. Uh, this, this seizure resulted in me feeling pretty weak. And I don't really want to do a lot of exercise or go to the gym and lift really heavy and end up having a seizure at the gym. So I think today, although my original intention was to <laughs> work out and have a good workout, I think I'll just... Give myself a break for today. Let myself um, do some yoga before bed. That really helps me sleep. And yeah, just kind of take it easy. Yeah, 
these days are these days can get long and they can get challenging and you just got to make the best of it and be as productive as you can with the the abilities that you have post seizure so that's what I'm doing and I will check back in later on today and let you know how I'm feeling and after that I will probably uh, pretty much be done so I'll check back with y'all later okay so I am finally 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 feeling hungry um, it took basically the entire day um, what have I had today Oh yeah, I had that spam, and after that, just I I will begin to do some research so that I can further help this channel in understanding exactly what seizures do to your body, because it's not even like a thing of just being um like the atypical girl who doesn't really want to eat during the day because I I usually have a really huge appetite. It was at the point of which you can't even force yourself to eat because it it tastes weird in your mouth. It makes you feel not like throwing up but just not very good. So, but that feeling has finally subsided. I have my skillets. Warming up is kind of gross. I don't like washing my skillet very often. Um, so it's got like bacon grease and everything pretty much cooked into it. And I just, I think that's the best way to handle your skillet. It's on low. I like to let my skillet just sit there, warm up for a little bit, uh, get completely, totally heated, and then I will use it. I, ooh. I'm just going to make a little quesadilla. Typically I wouldn't make this in the skillet because my skillet sometimes sticks when it comes to like eggs or bready things like quesadillas. Um, but I'd like to add a little bit of iron into my diet since I haven't really eaten anything. And I think a great way to do that is with the skillet. Okay, so my quesadilla, low carb tortilla. And then I have Swiss cheese, which like I've said before, it's like my favorite. Right now, I just get the great value kind. It tastes delicious. I'm sure it's not as good as some other fancier brands, but when you have a small business small business that you're trying to build, um, spending like 20 bucks on a block of cheese just doesn't really make sense. So you will notice that a lot of the food that I eat, it's not like whole foods worthy. One day it will be, but right now I just can't afford that. So kind of living, um, you know, managing seizures on a budget, which, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So another thing that I also like is this salami. I really like it because it has less than one carb, less than one gram of sugar. And the second ingredient is beef hearts, which I like eating organ meat. I think that's something that's really important to add into your diet. Um, so I like eating, eating this. I do understand that this salami doesn't have all of the best ingredients, but I do like it, tastes amazing, has the beef heart. So I believe that the benefits outweigh the negatives. If that's not something that you believe, don't eat it. I also like, <laughs> I will be adding a little bit of pepperoni just cause it's delicious. Again, great value brand. That is what I will be having. Uh, it's probably it. Although I do feel pretty hungry right now. Might eat some some just some plain pork rinds maybe something like that so i've taken this day easy which is not always easy for me because i like being busy but sometimes when you're not exactly at the optimal prime health especially when it comes to your brain you just gotta etc 
accept it, relax a little bit, take it easy, and like my husband says, or said, just chill today, okay? Just chill. Seriously. <laughs> so, that's what I've been doing. I will eat this. I'm sure it will be absolutely delicious. I am starving, <laughs> like I said. And that'll be it for today. I hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. I hope your week is going fabulously. I hope if you're watching this and you do have seizures, if you had a seizure today, I hope that you're beginning to feel better. I hope that you're starting to come around to the point where you feel like your normal average self again because if you have seizures, you know that it kind of makes you not feel like your normal average self. It's not very fun. But I just hope that you can always make the best of it, always make the best of this life. Um, know that I am here for you. If you ever have questions, put them in the comment I, comments. I will always answer them. Um, and for now, that's it. I'm gonna gonna eat my quesadilla and watch Home Alone. Y'all have a beautiful day. Bye.